You are a scavenger, lovingly referred to as a scav. Within this combat ecosystem, you assume the role of looter and survivor. So the part they just explained is really what got me excited. I play Lethal Company, and that's kind of the feel that I'm getting from what was just described. But in this game, you actually have a way to fight back, and you're not just helpless. Trapped between two warring military factions of the future, each with their own objectives. You know, even when this part is explained, it reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 4, where the PMCs were going against the militia. Snake was a third party in the event, so they weren't looking for him. But if he made too much noise, then he could get spotted. Outgunned, undersupplied, and constantly under attack. You must rely on cooperation and cunning to survive even minor enemy contact. Situational awareness is key in this world. Stop, look, and listen. Trigger discipline will save your life. A target missed is a bullet wasted. They give you the means to fight back, but it's not always a good idea. And not every battle is one worth fighting. Only kill what you can loot and get away with. Every time you open fire, you are ringing the dinner bell. Make it worth it. This must be the horror part. Welcome home, deep down in the guts of the city. Refugees seek shelter here, and they choose your level because you have one of the few things that matter. Water. H2O brings traders, shops, and allied mercenaries that have your six. If you want to survive, you'll need to pick up jobs from the two warring factions. Be smart about the jobs you take. The more a faction controls a sector, the more heavy units they will deploy. And just looking at the trailer, moments like this remind me of Battlefield. You know, just being a sniper, a scout, and not being able to actually fight a tank, or in this case, a mech, and you just have to find a way around it without them seeing you. And the more dangerous it becomes, the more jobs you do, the more jobs you'll get, and the longer you'll keep everyone alive. No one gets by in this world all on their own, so don't be afraid to help others when you can. Donation stations are made available where high-level vets can share gear with low-level baby scavs. You were in their shoes once, too. Here you can customize your rig, an innovative modular platform that grants you advanced abilities. Pneumatic jump allows you to quickly traverse rough terrain and reach hard-to-get drops. Turrets allow you to shred, at least for a short time. And scanners allow you to scout ahead to plan your route. As you can see, the game is very team-oriented. These perks work very good together, especially with communication. You want guns? You've got them. Modify and upgrade your firearms for the jobs you take. Always remember, the more gear and ammo you bring in, the less you can carry out. So spec accordingly. This part was reminding me of Lethal Company again, where in Lethal Company you can have a walkie-talkie and a flashlight but that will leave you only with two other slots to get loot. So you can bring in a heavy machine gun and a lot of ammo, but you may not be able to loot as much. Once you're kitted up, it's time to enter the macro city of Lost Angels. Megastructures meant to house millions lie vacant, while automated underground factories churn out war machines by the minute. As the war rages and destroys the world by day, AI-driven machines nicknamed the Night Shift rebuild by night. Recovery units stalk the streets, dragging the wounded and the dead to be harvested for their organs. Learn your surroundings, avoid patrols, and maybe you can make it out alive. Every job has rewards and consequences. The details matter. Make sure to dig into the intel thoroughly before... Looks like they're going to have decision missions like Armor Core, Flames, or Rubicon. We're heading out. Missions may include sabotaging faction facilities, collecting debts, and good old-fashioned MDKs. No matter how easy you think the job is, don't get complacent. Things can change at the drop of the casing. If by some chance you find something of real value, 
you will be hunted, and the factions will send bosses that far exceed your fire team's capabilities. Take note of their weaknesses and plan your strategy to take them down. Even fully geared, it will require coordination. If this is happening, I'm yelling for Leon. Teamwork and a bit of luck. There are only three types of scavs. The Yo, that's me. If I tell you not to shoot something and you shoot it. Fast, the smart, and the dead. So don't be ashamed to retreat if the fighting gets too hot. Remember, there are no heroes here. Just a few men and women running around in the dark with half empty magazines. Forever. That was the gameplay trailer for Forever Winter. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below.